Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of 2015 NAB show here live from Las Vegas. I'm John P. I'm Giovanni, and two things. Yep. We have been terrible about not mentioning hashtags. I was actually board. just going to say that. Well, I got beat you to the punch. You so, number did. one, uh, we're using Tag Board this week to, to go in and show everybody what's happening at NAB show, the, the, the four folks that are not here and the folks that are <laughs> in the South Hall and can't get to the Central Hall and the North Hall. So, if you go up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook and tag anything you post, any images you post with the NAB show, if it's something that we think is good enough. If it's worthy. If it's worthy, we will approve it and put it up on the tag. But that's number one. Number two, my new friend Oliver agrees that we both look very good on camera today. Does he? Yeah, he didn't comment on you, but Oliver and I look terrific. You two do. And Oliver, yes. thank you so much for coming to join us. You are actually the CEO of Boink Software. So you guys make a lot of different apps. So first mm -hmm. of all, give us a little give us a little overview. What all do you guys do? Uh, so basically, we make fun and uh, cool apps for video and photography, and uh, a, a whole a suite of things. Uh, one we are most well known for is the stop motion app mm -hmm. called I Stop Motion. I've got it. Uh, I've yes, got it too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and We're I, fanboys. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. That's the, <laughs> it's always good to. to hear that. Uh, we've got uh, uh, an application for photographers to create uh, slideshows, basically, uh, called Photomagico. Helps you turn... I've got that one, too. Yeah. I do not have that uh, one. Uh, helps you turn your photos and also videos into a, 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 you know, a video, basically. So mm -hmm. uh, still photography to video to a, a stage show. And the thing we show here is called Boings TV. It's a TV station. Uh, in the Mac, live TV, mm -hmm. uh, t live video production suite uh, allows you to live stream, uh, to record uh, s stuff like a presentation, a sermon, uh, uh, a, a news show, a live show, a live show um, and multiple camera switching, uh, chroma keying, graphics, computer graphics, character generation, all the buzzwords you have. It's basically your own TV truck without the truck for a couple hundred bucks instead of like the the million bucks you have to shelf out for the for the real big, clunky things. So, so I'm familiar with with the, the previous version that y'all have of, of Boinks TV, mm -hmm. but but you're here to announce the beta version of the next version of it. So, yes. so you've given us a, a bit of a rundown of, of what Boinks TV does. What's the, what are the differences in in this next version compared to what? Uh, the previous, our current users use of Boinks TV. What, what can they expect new out of the new version? Okay, so um, Boinks TV 1 has been around for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we've made over 30 uh, releases of it. Uh, and this Boinks TV 2 is really a big step up. We've uh, really re-engineered uh, a lot of the core stuff. So it's now 64-bit, solid, uh, great performance. You can basically never run out of uh, uh, memory again. Um, we have uh, modernized it to be uh, compatible with the latest technology from Apple on the Mac OS X. Um, it looks gorgeous, mm -hmm. new design, uh, and uh, it does a couple of new things. Uh, in the UI, you can now, instead of having to dial in all the parameters for each layer, you can now just grab stuff on the screen and move it around. Say oh, you nice. have a lower third and there's a graphics in it and you want to move it three pixels to the left, you just grab it and move it instead of having to you know, input some mm -hmm. text field somewhere. And um, it does live streaming to YouTube Live directly out of the box. Uh, it does play out With live SDI. switching the whole nine live, yards. Live, live switching. So if you are a broadcaster uh, and look for a good way to try out new things in the graphics department. Uh, Boings TV now allows you to integrate with the existing SDI workflow. We output SDI as a uh, alpha channel and a fill channel, so you can just use it as a graphics engine for your broadcast, bringing in sensor data from, like we have at the show, a fun thing. Uh, we put up a, a dartboard with, with a USB connection, so when you uh, hit a field on the dartboard, it automatically tallies the, sco uh, the score and displays oh, nice. a nice. dartboard, a, a render dartboard that shows you where you've, you've hit. Um, you could use like a weather station to pull in data and stuff like that, a Twitter feed, uh, social media, anything you fancy you can try out with this relatively cheap solution compared to the, the, uh, the, uh, the existing uh, broadcast graphics wow. uh, engines. Now, one thing from a technical level, okay, 
some of the other more you know expensive dedicated solutions, let's say, they come in a box, uh -huh. and those boxes have all of the inputs and outputs mm -hmm. that you need. So you're going to have, uh, let's say, if you have some cameras, like the ones we use here, have SDI outputs, mm -hmm. and that would have SDI inputs. Some people use a commercial, uh, a consumer grade camera with an HDMI output, and so you'd have HDMI inputs. Um, if we're going to run all this through a Mac, uh, and we could use any Mac, like I could go buy a 13-inch Mac Pro com laptop, and we yes. could run Boinks TV on it, right? Yes, ex mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. But the one cha challenge I have is now I've got a Mac, which is highly portable, and maybe I have some small cameras, but I got to get those into mm -hmm. it. So how do we technically feed our video sources into the, the computer? So now you would need a an SDI or HDMI capture source. Uh, we usually recommend the Blackmagic Design uh, mini recorders. They are nice little, you know, super pack-sized devices, uh, and you can hook up two to your MacBook Pro, which has two uh, Thunderbolt ins, uh, and so that gives you two cameras, two SDI or two HDMI cameras. Uh, you also have a USB 3 port, and that gives you additional sources. Like if you go and want to record a presentation, we can grab the VGA feed from the projector with a little device called USB 3 to VGA uh, by a company called Epiphan um, that connects to your USB 3 port. And then you can grab the, uh, the, the DVI or VGA signal mm -hmm. and use that with the cameras and do all the, you know, the fancy, uh, here's the presentation, here's the speaker. Uh, and multi cameras. Yeah, multi cameras. So basically, you just on told, the laptop. You just basically gave us a way to give somebody a job. They could go sell a job. Like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna come do your uh, do do speech recordings. Yes, and two, exactly. Two cameras. You got one wide shot. You got one zoomed in on yes. the speaker. We take a feed directly from the presentation. Sit there and live switch mm -hmm. it. And if you wanted to live stream it live at the same time. Live, live stream it and record, record it. Record it. Then and put it out yeah. on YouTube. Bang. And also, you could. Uh, Use, use the second uh, monitor, the HDMI out of the MacBook Pro, to display it on a projector. So you could go through Boeing's TV and onto the screen, which gives you really great uh, uh, capabilities to drive the screens in your uh, in your venue, uh, in your presentation venue. Lower uh, thirds, lower thirds, the whole nine yards. Uh, yes, so, yes. So With one MacBook Pro. One so MacBook, hypothetically, yeah. if Someone was, r was running a tech news reviews <laughs> kind of a website that produced a daily podcast that was video based. Um, a lot of what you need in that kind of a scenario is the ability Everything to capture you screen. <laughs> you know, so so what about screen capture on the machine that, that you're working on so you can show you know websites and, and, yes. and demonstrations yes. of what's happening on yes. the computer? Yes. Possibility there. Absolutely. While you have also, all also that we, support, um, we support. Uh, taking the, the iPad or the iPhone to the uh, lightning cable into your computer by USB. So you can use your iPad actually to browse uh, the, 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 the website. Can you record the iPad screen from yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. It, it shows like in real time. Wait a minute. Computer. You could have your iPad hooked up via a lightning connector. We could have it on a web page and treat that as a source. Yes. In addition to the VGA capture through USB, a couple of fire, uh, not firewire. She's another video a, a couple of, yeah, yeah. a wow. couple of their cameras. Yeah. What about the internal webcam? Also, yeah, you use that as the next, as I do not want to know how you're going to use that. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I came here only to sell it to you. Guys. Well, <laughs> and, and that's interesting because, I mean, w one of the things on my shopping list right now is finding a good screen capture device for iPads. Okay. And, you know, I, I don't know if that works the same way for iPhone or not. But, but yeah, just come back by our booth uh, mm -hmm. in the North Hall and AT2012. Mm -hmm. AT12, and we'll show you. Okay, uh, so fantastic. We it up there. Okay, All great. right, it sounds amazing. The question is... There's actually two questions. There's Number two. one, <laughs> when is it going to be available? Because you're telling us about all it's these features of the new one. Okay. When is it available? And number two, what's it going to cost us? So all the, thing we, all the things we just discussed is also available on the version one already. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the second version, if, when you need to get started now, you can get started with, with Boeing's TV one. Um, the new version is going to be out sometimes uh, this year, I hope, in summer. Mm -hmm. uh, after the uh, NAB show, we will be starting the beta program, and we see how it goes. Uh, we need to have this application rock solid so that production, video production, mm -hmm. cannot be uh, disrupted by a buggy program. So we have to make sure that we go through a very thorough beta test program. 
and uh, we hope that we, uh, we, we are not going to rush it. We're going to uh, carefully iron out all the problems and then release it when it's ready. Good. And, and how much can people get started for? Uh, the Boeing TV1 currently sells for 499 mm -hmm. US dollars. Uh, Boeing TV2 will be a little bit different pricing model. We have not set it yet uh, uh, completely, but we. We, we're, we're thinking about a subscription model being available in addition to a, uh, to, to a perpetual license. Uh, there's going to be an upgrade path available to everybody okay, who's good. already owning uh, Boeing's TV One. We have to figure out this problem with the, with the App Store. Boeing's TV also sells on the App Store, and um, you can't do upgrade pricing yeah. there. So we have to have to find a way to, to, to solve that Mitigate problem. That, yeah. Yeah, and what? I was like, w one quick question. You have a you have a f uh, what you call a home version. Yes. Uh, so so what's the price on that, and what are the major differences okay, between the, major the regular difference version? The difference is that you version? can only have one video source on the okay. home version. So it's it's uh, targeted at people who want to do the U YouTube stream from mm -hmm. their home. They only have one camera, and they just want to do fun stuff with it. It's fifty bucks on the App Store. It's fun to play around with. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's a gateway it. drug. It's right. a gateway drug. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. So if awesome. you want to get your kids into video podcasting, mm -hmm. uh, get them started on that. Get, get them started on that. Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, we definitely want to get you guys into all kinds of podcasting, video production, everything else, if you're not already. And we have a very cool panel coming up in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. But thanks for joining us for all of our continuing coverage here at NAB Show 2015. And we'll be right back. Hashtag NAB Show. There you go.